What's up, guys? Tim Mariello here, President and CEO of Spasmatic Supplements, new high sim overloaded pre-workout. You can find it at spasmaticpreworkout.com. Now on to the show at Sup Talk Radio. Hello, everyone, and welcome once again to another exciting episode of Sub Talk Radio. But on a little bit of a hiatus due to some personal business that's been going on, always for our current guests that we have coming up here shortly. A little bit about them. They uh, believe in top quality ingredients, no proprietary blends, which uh, all my listeners, you know, is very big to me. Um, no concentrates, veteran owned and are really about, you know, giving back to the athletes, the soldiers and everybody in that uh, ilk to help fail, to help uh, you know to succeed in their fitness needs. So anyway, enough of my chat. Uh, allow me to introduce John Klipstein of UXO Supplements. John, welcome to the show. Hey, thanks for having us, Sean. Appreciate John, and again, it. thank you. I know we've been playing tag, you know, the last couple of weeks, and it's fine to find good to finally have you guys on the show. Yeah, absolutely. It's great to be here. Um, yeah, we appreciate the opportunity. So, so I guess my first question right off the bat is, you know, tell me a little bit about the existence of UXO, the name, and how long you guys have been in business. So as you kind of touched on, Sean, UXO, we are, uh, we're veteran-owned. Uh, so myself, I'm a veteran. My business, One of my business partners is still in active duty. Um, he's a ranger stationed down in Miami. But with us, UXO, it's a military term, stands for unexploded ordnance, and that's kind of how we view our products, too, much like our, our flagship pre-workout um, in, in the military. Unexploded ordnance is uh, an explosive device that hasn't detonated yet, right? So you take a pre-workout, we know you're going to ingest it, and it's going to give you a devastating result just like a UXO would. So a little bit about the company. Uh, we've been around for Gosh, it's a year and a half now, so we're still new to market from that aspect. But we've been we've been working on it for some time. Uh, it all started with the military looking at soldiers and what they were taking. Um, the military is big on fitness supplementation, and they have a ban list because there's so many supplement products out there either containing banned substances or questionable other ones. And uh, that kind of spawned us into doing a, a lot of research on what ingredients are good for you, which ones are harmful, um, and we ended up coming out with our own product line based off of it. John, I don't so. know if you mentioned what branch were you in personally. Sorry, so uh, U.S. Army, uh, served for six years, was deployed twice to Afghanistan. Like I said, one of my business partners is still in, so he's going on about 10 years in the service. Excellent. I'm sure you hear it all the time, but thank you to yourself as well as your, your partner for doing what you do and, and making this U.S. great again. Well, great as always. <laughs> we appreciate it. Appreciate your support, Sean. So let's let's dive a little bit into the, the supplement line as well. You know, again, as I mentioned earlier, I'm a, I'm a very big proponent of full disclosure labels. You know, I, I wish I've kind of said it almost every episode. Mm -hmm. I wish that the FDA would come knocking and basically make it a mandate that every company should be at least full disclosure. But I know we're probably years, if not decades, behind that. Um, but again, that was you know one of the big attractions to me getting you guys on the phone is again the full disclosure label. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I mean, that, that's important to me, too. And that was one of our first necessary, um, I'm not going to say, it, it, it was necessary for us to have that on our logos uh, or on our labels. But looking at a, a lot of people out there are educated about what they're putting in their body. They know that they want to take something and they want to feel that burst of energy when they're in the gym or they want to feel, you know, cracked out, <laughs> whatever the case may be. Um, so for us, it's important that you know what's on the label and at what dosages that you're putting it in. So like none of our stuff is underdosed. It's not overdosed either because that can be just as harmful as, as a banned substance. If you're, t if you're overdosing on specific ingredients, stimulants specifically, um, that could be harmful to you. John, before we, before we quickly go into some of the, some of the, uh, some of the products, is there a, a, a tolerance or level of how much caffeine can be ingested in, in the military? You know, th there's not, not for caffeine. Um, now, like I said, they do have a ban list for specific ingredients, like obviously 1,3 or 2-amino isoheptane, 
stuff like that. Um, I don't believe there's a limit on the amount of caffeine. Um, and that's why you'll see some soldiers and it would be frustrating to me go out on a long mission and come back to base. And first thing they do is they walk over and start pounding energy drinks when they should be hydrating sure. with water. Um, but yeah, it's, it's something that you need to monitor. So let's, so let's start off, I guess, if you don't mind with your pre-workout, um, you know, first off, thank you for sending me a bottle of that. Uh-huh. I've been using that and, and I'll let you discuss and I'll kind of let you know how, how I'm enjoying it. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah, the pre-workout is our flagship. Uh, that's our flagship product. Would you Would you want to discuss well, let's, on that? Let's go over some of the ingredients. I guess maybe why you chose them, and and we can kind of go from there. Okay. Yeah. So with our pre-workout, um, once again, this is our flagship product. So we got a lot of praise on our first pre-workout that we launched. The first pre-workout that we launched. Um, it was very similar to version two, but we had less servings in it. We only had 20 servings and included your branch chain amino acids for, you know, um, its endurance and recovery benefits. So on version two, and we, we've received huge reviews on this, we removed the branch chain amino acids to, to number one, uh, give you more servings per container. And number two, we found that a lot of people are already buying a separate branch chain amino acid product or an intra workout product so that's the big thing that we did with version two um like we already stated we're we're big proponents on full disclosure label and efficacious dosages too so looking at the needs in the market there's a lot of products out there that uh, like we stated some have questionable ingredients or banned substances and then we found that a lot of other formulas out there were also well underdosed, so maybe they had the right ingredients sure. in them, but whether it were for saving uh, or increased profits or whatever the case may be, uh, you know, they give you like 1.5 grams of citrulline malate, right? And and you know, or or research will show that you need a minimum of four to six grams in order to get the benefits of right. the ingredient. So and and. and- so you want to go through yeah, some? Yeah, I mean, of the... let's go, let's go through some of the ingredients. I mean, uh, obviously, the listener you know sometimes they like to hear it because maybe they're driving to work and know a little bit more what's behind the I guess what's behind the curtain. Okay, so the big thing with our pre workout, we wanted to have clean energy with no crash. Um, so taking a look at that, we played around with the caffeine levels. So you kind of already touched on: is there a caffeine limit in the military? I don't believe there is, but we started with 300 milligrams of caffeine. Um, in our original pre-workout. In the new one, we stepped it down to 275. That kind of seemed like the sweet spot in the research that we conducted. Um, We did research conducted across three different groups uh, on three different formulas, and we tried to see who had jitters, who had, you know, uh, from the beta alanine aspect, who was getting too much of the tingles or or the flushing of the skin, and we would adjust our formula based on that. So with us, uh, you know, we wanted a clean energy, no crash. So we went with the 275 milligrams of caffeine. So number one, that's going to give you a, a, a little bit of burst of, of thermal. It's also going to increase your energy and it's going to support lean muscle endurance. All right. It's going to increase muscle endurance uh, while decreasing fatigue. So you're not going to get the jitters. It's pretty smooth. And the other thing that we did was we added theanine, to the formula to assist with that. So our formula has 100 milligrams of L-theanine, which is a form of nootropic that also helps with mood. So it promotes relaxation. It's going to boost your concentration and, and alertness. But the, relax, the relaxation piece was key to us because that's going to level out the jitters, make it smooth. So you do get the clean energy. You're not going to get the crash at the end of your workout. Um, the second part of our pre-workout, so clean energy number one, uh, second part, we wanted the increased focus. So when you're in the gym, we know you want to be focused on weights. You don't want to be distracted. You want to be laser focused because you go in there with a goal. We want you to leave feeling like you achieved that goal. So from the focus aspect, we included we included um, the taurine. So you have one gram. So efficacious dosage of taurine restores mental alertness. Um, it also is going to assist you with increased mental, like like. It's going to give you the focus you need, especially when you're exerting a bunch of physical sure. attributes. Um, let's see. Arg- 
Then also looking no, at... No, I was saying, then you have ahead. arginine, which is a great product, or great great ingredient to use. So then that was the, the last piece. So we wanted clean energy, we wanted good focus, and then we wanted a huge muscle pump. So my big thing when I was in the military, if I'm going in the gym, I wanted to be working on my physical training. I also want to increase size. So we stacked. We did something a little bit different because you're going to go look and you're going to find that some people are going to use the citrulline, some may use... Um, arginine, some use an egmatine sulfate. We we stack citrulline with the yellow arginine, so it's almost like it works in um, in yep. stages. So your citrulline malate with the malic acid attachment is going to saturate the muscles quicker, and it's going to last. But the yellow arginine kind of saturates slower. So you're going to have six grams of L-citrulline. It's going to hit you quicker, give you give you ATP production, and the L-arginine is going to come in behind it, which is going to give you super muscle pumps. You know, excellent nitric oxide flow, so you're going to see increased vascularity, and and it's been a great formula for us. John, in today's, uh, I'm going to say, overstimulated uh, environment, do you find people taking more than the two scoops? We recommend against it, but yeah, we'll we'll see some of that. Um, With our new formula, we went to a kind of new marketing gimmick. Like I said, our previous formula was a 20-scoop container. So on the new one, what we found, we got a lot of feedback, uh, a lot of bikini competitors, for example, that yep. love our product. Well, they, they were only taking half a scoop. One full scoop was too much for them. So we kind of took that into account, um, especially when we, we had an over-resounding response to that happening. So on the new pre-workout, it's considered a 30-60 serving container. So if you're like me and you want the full efficacious dosages and you want the nine grams of muscle pump, then you're going to take two scoops. Now, even at taking two scoops, you're going to get a full 30 serving container. But if you're lower on the stimulant uh, side and, and you, you, your tolerance is a little bit lower, then you're going to be able to take the half scoop. You're going to get more servings out of the container. And it's going to meet your needs. And, and here's something, too, that, that you didn't bring up, but I want to bring up for the listeners. Even though it's, it's going to sound weird, but it's a no-brainer. But, listeners, John actually has on the label, okay, whether it's 30 servings, what the dosage is, and then on the next, on the, right next to it is one scoop and what the dosage is. Now, I know mathematically it's easy just to kind of divide it in half, but you've made it easier for people using it to know, okay, I take two scoops, it's X. If I take one scoop, it's Y. Which is actually very, it's brilliant. I mean, it's, it, it's, it's exactly. no brainer, but it's brilliant. Exactly. And that's what we were looking for. Like we said, we want to keep everything full disclosure so you know exactly how much you're putting in your body of each ingredient specifically. You know, and, and I personally keep myself kind of on the lower scale of stimulant, I guess stimulant sensitive. So I've been using this for a while, John, since you said it to be about a week and a half ago. I've probably taken it maybe four or six times. Um, I find personally a scoop, a scoop and awesome. a half is my sweet spot, which is, because we do the math roughly, maybe 205, 210 on the caffeine scale. But the focus is great, good pumps. Um, you know, and I've mixed it personally. I, I use a lot of water by pre-workout. So I'm, I'm dosing this with probably 20 ounces of water. Very light on the flavoring, just to let the listeners know. But, oh, wow. uh, but again, I'm happy with it, and I, I appreciate it. And I'm not just saying that because you're a guest, but I do like the product. Good. Good, good. Yeah, we, we've gotten a lot of good feedback around uh, specifically our pre-workout. The other thing that we we noticed, too, with the pre-workout market is everybody's throwing creatine in their pre-workout. And we got a lot of feedback because we made our pre-workout creatine-free. And uh, it's just real interesting to see people's response to that, like, oh, yeah, it's good you didn't put creatine in there. We don't like creatine. It makes me bloat. And, And keep in mind, everybody's body reacts differently, and we understand that. But that's not the reason we kept creatine out. Um, We found, once again, that most pre-workouts, they give you creatine, but it's well underdosed. So you're not getting enough to really give you the increased uh, size or increased access to ATP that you really need. So we made our pre-workout creatine-free, so that way you could buy our separate creatine products, stack it with it, and then use it how you want. So some people use creatine like five grams a day, and that's, yep. that's what I do. I mix it with my protein post-workout uh, for the recovery benefits. But some people will take 20 grams of creatine a day for one to two weeks straight, and then they cycle off. So they'll cycle on, cycle off. Well, if they're truly trying to cycle off, they're going to need to take a product that is creatine-free. 
right? Um, so we made our, cre- our pre-workout creatine-free complete in hopes that if you do use creatine, you're using it the right way and you're stacking a creatine product with and, it. And, John, it's funny you brought that up because that, that's another big sell for me with your product is because I have to ref- I have to personally refrain from creatine because I have overactive kidneys and I have very high levels of creatinine that are being given off. So my doctor has been very, very instructional with saying no creatine supplements whatsoever. And, again, it, it's true. You could probably look at ten different products and five have creatine and probably even less than five – don't have creatine in it. So again, that's another sell for me personally. And again, I appreciate you explaining that, bring that up. Perfect. Yeah. So right now it's available in blue frost. Any other flavors in, in R and D or down the pipeline? We do. Um, so yesterday we just released a couple new products, our pro blend, uh, a couple fat burners, one stem, one non stem. We do have a couple other flavors in the works. Uh, for both our pre-workout and then our branch chain amino acids. So we're excited for those to be coming. Excellent. So what's what's another good seller for you guys you'd like to educate the listeners on? Uh, really, other than that, you know, creatine is a huge one. We do have a creatine formula that has also gotten rave reviews. Uh, we have a 60-serving creatine product for $9 currently, and it's a blend of creatine that, once again, much like our pre-workout acts in stages, so it hits quick, it saturates slower, and then it lasts longer for the, the recovery benefits. Um, the Pro Blend, we just launched that too. We've always been big proponents on isolate, which is it's necessary you know, to have a whey isolate that you can take immediately after your workout uh, so you don't go into a catabolic state and you don't lose any of your gains. But we just released a 7-Blend. So the seven blend is something new that we've been playing with, but all of our research showed that it's it's almost a necessary addition to your supplement if you're looking at putting on lean muscles um, or if you're very active. So this new pro blend is a seven blend protein that gives you four hours worth of release. It's it's a timed release on the protein. So it's perfect for you to use as a post workout. It's perfect for you to use as a meal replacement. Or even almost as like a case in a, uh, that you would take before bedtime, and it's delicious too. It's probably one of the best ones. So right now we have it in a strawberry milkshake, and then here shortly, probably within the next week, we're going to have a frozen cappuccino. Both of them are amazing tasting proteins. Wow, I, geez, cappuccino sounds very sounds awesome. I guess is there is there kind of obviously hints of coffee in it? I, I could assume. So there is some actual coffee bean in it, uh, which will give you some additional energy. Uh, but but yeah, it's it's amazing. And just flavor. kind of to, to harp on, oh, or addition to the pro blend, it's got uh, constant whey concentrate, whey protein isolate, milk protein isolate, calcium caseinate, as well as micellar casein, egg whites, whey protein. You've got a, it, it's very rich. I can tell you that. Looking at the ingredient here. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it's a very rich, uh, very rich stack. It's a little bit thicker, you know, with people that are used to the the way I isolate and not being a watered down version. This one is a little bit thicker, but it's it's just got amazing flavor. And people people what, love now, it. Now, not to put you on the spot here, but what made you pick strawberry? Because I know straw. Uh, generally, companies come out with like a chocolate and a vanilla, and strawberry is usually tertiary. But what made you pick strawberry first? I think that's the that's the exact reason. Like walking into the majority of the stores that we sell out of, um, that's what you'll find. You have vanilla, you have chocolate. You know, some people will play around and they come up with creative ideas, but I wanted something that wasn't going to be too too crazy um, that would appeal to the masses. But I wanted something different, so we went with the strawberry to start, and going through R and D with these products. You know, we had flavor packets sent to us to to try out and we fine tuned it until we thought it was perfect and uh yeah the strawberry milkshake i'm i'm very very pleased with it you said the cappuccino is dropping when hopefully uh it should be here within one to two weeks we should have the cappuccino available on our site and excellent excellent so since you brought up the the term r&d maybe walk us through you know what the process is like for r&d do you have a a huge panel is it just you and and you and your partner sitting around with with dixie cups tasting things or what's that look like (laughs) <laughs> a little bit of bull, to be honest with you. Yeah, so with uh, R&D, the way we approach it, like, for example, with the proteins, proteins to me, it's mostly about the taste. Like, as long as the ingredient panel shows us where we want to be, 
Like with, we want our isolates to be as lean as they possibly can. Uh, least amount of carbs that you can find, very low on sugar intake. So it's all about taste. So they're sending it to me, tasting it. Once we lock in the flavor, we're good to go. Now on the other ones, like the blends, like uh, our pre-workout and our creatine, those ones we actually had panels. So we actually sent four groups through testing, like I said previously, and one of those groups was actually a placebo, just so we had something to benchmark sure. it against. But uh, keep in mind, like, we, we went out of full-scale lab, so it's not a completely controlled environment. Uh, we did give recommendations on what their nutrition plan needed to be, uh, what their workout plan needed to be, and then, of course, what their supplementation plan needed to be. So with that, we used in the pre-workout and the creatine, we used three formulas, three different formulas. Um, the pre-workouts were all pretty simple. It was more around the dosages. Okay. And then at the end of it, we tracked it over an eight-week period to see what type of response we got, what type of increases in muscle size, increases in endurance we saw, and then recorded that. And obviously, we chose the formula that we felt gave the, the outcomes we were looking for. Um, so that's that's the, that's the way we go about it with the, the creatine specifically. That one was a longer test. I think we did 12-week tests on the creatine. Um, and we were actually shocked with the findings on that. Like, we went into it, and you have to go into research and development with sure. an open mind, too. So we went in thinking, hey, creatine and HCL is the way to go with the hydrochloride uh, uh, attachment. And come to find out, no, it underperformed compared to a blend that we had. So we, we ended up going with the creatine blend. Interesting. So now a lot of your test subjects, military people, or just, I mean, what, what's the demographic look like? So the demographic, mostly military. Okay. Yep. Um, we did have some other people that are, are heavy into fitness, though, that are very close friends. We also included them in the panel so we could get open, honest feedback from them. But, yes, majority of who we market to, majority of who we sponsor um, are, are all – in some way or fashion involved in the military. John, I have, I have a weird question for you. Do you send any of your products overseas to anybody in the military, whether they're the Afghanistans or Iraqs or anything like that? All the time. So we get requests, and I think it's just part of us yep. giving back. Uh, we, we've been there, so we know the struggles, and we know it. <laughs> it, it's taxing. It's taxing on the body physically and mentally to be over there. And every day when you get a mail drop and you've got a package there, it's it's a great feeling, you know, whether it comes from a loved one or it comes from someone else. So we get requests from people like, hey, my buddy's overseas currently, or we'll get it direct from them, like, hey, I'm over here, I need some supplements, what should I get? And whether they order from us or not, you know, if they do make a, an order from us, we usually load it up with additional stuff because, we just want to get back and help them out. If they don't order from us, we usually will send care packs yeah. over there too, just to help it's, them. It's very out. commendable, and I have a weird question. I might not state this right, but uh, I don't know. If, I don't know if you dabble if you're dabbling much in the international market, because certain certain legislation, I guess, you can't have certain certain ingredients or products in, in different demographics, whether it's Ireland or the UK and whatnot, Germany, because certain certain ingredients are banned. So when you send products over to when you send products okay. over to like in Afghanistan or in Iraq, are, are they I'm wondering are they governed by what's what's I'm gonna say legal and not legal or does it really not matter because you're kind of going through the 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 military channels? I don't know if I'm explaining that right. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's really interesting when you're in the military, especially if you're overseas, because if you are on a base and that's essentially where we send all of our products to, it's going to be a soldier that's deployed and on an American base. So that territory that base is considered american gotcha. territory okay per perfect i appreciate that because i have a friend that's that's overseas and, and he's looking to have some products sent to him he's, he's in the military as well so i was just kind of wondering what the legislation was like but obviously if you, as you mentioned you're doing it to military so it's kind of a u.s a u.s uh, regulations i guess Perfect. Absolutely. So now, so now, getting back to R and D, when you guys are, are doing your test, what do you, how do you guys figure out what the next product or products are going to be? Are you trying to keep up with the Joneses, or how do you come across your, you know, what's going to be next for you guys? <laughs> yeah, and, and that's part of it is constant, constant research. What's the competition doing? How could we do it better? Um, but the other thing too is we put 
I was multiple competitions through our social media platforms. And listening to feedback, when we listen to our users, the people that use our products and what they've asked for. That's why we launched our fat burner. Um, I, I couldn't believe how many people, like we came out originally wanting a couple products we could stack, the pre-workout, the BCAs, the creatine, the isolate protein. And it's like, what else can we come out with? And, uh, gosh, we probably got 200 responses all asking for a clean sure. fat burner. And so we just now launched that yesterday. But, but that's the big thing. We, we constantly listen to our, our, our customers, and then we're watching what everybody else is doing and trying to figure out how we can do it different. Uh, John, and here's a question talking about your fat burner. I noticed that you guys are using alpha yohimbine. Now, do, could, I don't know if you can. Can you explain the difference between yep. the alpha and regular yohimbine? Because to me, I could ask 10 different people, and five will say alpha, and then the other five will say no, straight yohimbine or yohimbine. Yeah, so it's it, that's a that's a toss up. So the regular yohimbine we had in our original pre workout. Um, now some people I know have different reactions to it, whether they are irritable or, or whatever the case may be. But alpha is a concentrate to it, so you use it in a lot lower um, dosage. But I'll be honest with you, I'd have to get back to you on the specific differences between the two fine. ingredients. Um, I, I don't have that. Don't have that readily. Because I have a good friend that's very, very well respected in the industry, and, he, and his exact words were: "Yohimbine is more effective. There's more side effects." So I'm thinking, okay, more effective, more side effects versus mm -hmm. taking alpha. So I just laughed, and he said, "Yeah." He says, "I know it sounds weird, but anyway, I digress a little bit." <laughs> yeah, and, and that's kind of what we've heard too, though. Is is. Uh, and and I think I even noticed it a little bit with myself, and you have to be very careful, especially if someone has, like, PTSD or, or anything like that or um, high acute stress levels, then I've read research panels where the Ohimbean can actually make them even more irritable, put them more on edge um, versus the alpha Ohimbean. Gotcha. So is there anything else? I know you mentioned just dropping the fat burner and, and something else recently. What, what else is in R&D or what else are you coming out with down the road? So we've got uh, we've got a couple other things. And I don't want to give away too much, but we've got uh, we've got something we're really excited about. Um, uh, I can't go too far into it, but uh, we also have a vitamin coming. So we went specifically for men's and women's okay. vitamins, uh, and then we also have a new intra workout that's dropping. So now we have our plant based branch chain amino acids, which gives you your branch chain amino acids in a two to one to one ratio. It's the most researched. Uh, ratio out there and then it also includes glutamine but for somebody that wants to take an intra workout and wants that little bit of extra energy boost we have an intra workout coming that includes not only your branch chain amino acids but other aminos uh, such as citrulline so it gives you some more muscle pump and has caffeine to give you a little bit more energy and we've got some amazing flavors in those coming too so we should see those within the next two months. Nice. Um, and then we've got a, a product that I feel is revolutionary um, coming probably. We're still in R&D with it, but we've seen some amazing things come out of it. And uh, I'm hoping by Wait, September. When you say, September, when you say revolutionary, I'm not going to put you on the spot. Is, is it kind of a new category changer or just something that's already a category that's already out there? Uh, it's It's – it's very light, and I will tell you there's there's only two other products out on the market that aren't really mainstream that have this, um, but it's also a very, very expensive product to make, so it will be a very expensive product to purchase. <laughs> and you're saying when? <laughs> so it's huge with endurance. So I'm, I'm thinking we'll have it right about October, um, but it's a huge endurance booster and uh, incredible with, with strength increase. You're not, out, you're not reinventing deer antler, are you? <laughs> no. <laughs> so now, what's what's the three to five year plan of the company? I mean, do you want to organically grow and keep things small and quaint, or do you want to be, you know, the next BSN down the road? So I don't know if necessarily BSN, but uh, yeah, with us, we we like it being small. Like right now, we we don't have a whole lot of overhead. There's, there's we're a three man operation, and we focus on we want quality ingredients, affordable prices. And we want to have the best customer service in the industry. We pride ourselves on that. Um, so far, we've been able to meet that. 
you know, that's one of the reasons why we also offer 110% money back guarantee. If you take our product, you absolutely hate it. You contact us, send it back. We'll give you a full refund, right? Um, because we want to, we want to set the standard in the industry. Uh, with that being said, we are growing. So we went through our rebranding. Now we're launching all these new products that we're getting a lot of good feedback on. And so we're looking at growing nationally. Like earlier you brought up international. That's not even on our scope yet. Long term, yes, we would love to go international. Um, but, yeah, we're trying to grow our footprint here within the United States and hopefully become a household name brand in the sports nutrition industry. And, and John, aside from being in the military, which, which you mentioned earlier, what, what's your background? Is there anything more than the military and just kind of a fitness enthusiast yourself? So fitness enthusiast, yeah. So I, I do have my degree in business administration, awesome. and prior to this was, was in retail store management, stuff like that. Uh, was a consultant for, for a large IT chain as well for a while. Um, but my passion is in the fitness industry and my passion is with the military. And so that's, that's where I drive all of my, all of my business goals towards. Gotcha. And, and John, there's a new segment of the show that I started not too long ago. It actually gives the listeners a, a true better look to you, the, the guest. So if you don't mind, I want to throw out five random questions. Okay. And, and listeners, John has not been prepped with these questions. It's not, it's not <laughs> going to set you up. It's not going to put you in a bad light. So just whatever comes okay. to mind and we can go off on a tangent or even if it's just like a one word answer. Okay. Um, first question, what's the last good movie you saw? Oh my gosh! Yeah, you did. Uh, thir Thirteen hours. I just watched it the other night, but that's one of my favorites. I've watched it like five or six times. So, uh, but yeah, that's, that's the hours. one with John Krasinski from The Office, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, with the whole Benghazi conspiracy, and yeah, it's I, one of I my favorites. I just saw that recently movies, myself. So. I'm not, I'm not a big military movie person, but I loved it. Really good movie. Great, great choice. Um, what's your favorite exercise to perform in the gym? Good. Favorite exercise? No, oh, there's so many. You put me on a spot, Sean. I'm getting confused. Uh, no, let's. Uh, I'd have to say bench press. Uh, that, that's my favorite exercise to do. Is it's chest day. I, just throwing a crap ton of weight on the bar and trying to just push my personal. It's not every bat. Monday, is it? Uh, no, actually, it rotates okay. weekly. So I'm on a. I'm on like a six-day work week plan, so it okay. switches up. What, what's the first supplement you ever took? Oh, you know, Jack. Really? Lee. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't think I touched supplements until my first deployment, and that was in 2009, 2010. And, yeah, it, it was Jack 3D. And I remember I was like, oh, my God, my skin's crawling. My face feels like it's going to fall off. This is amazing. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> What's what's your favorite cheap meal or favorite favorite food to eat? Oh, you know what? The five Guys. I don't know oh, if yeah. you guys have them out there on the East Coast. The Five Guys uh, burger. Oh, yep. I go load up and I will oh, devour God, it. I've had that once, and I, I refer to it. They're very big in Massachusetts. I refer to it as heart attack in a bag. <laughs> Sounds about right. It's oh, amazing. And, and okay, now I'm gonna put a little narcissism in you. What's your best body part? Oh, jeez. Uh, you know what? It's got to be my calf really? muscles. <laughs> oh, and I hate them. I hate them that people come and be like, Jesus, your calves are huge. And uh, it drives me absolutely nuts. But... That's so funny because when I, first, when, I, when I first met my wife, we always had this discussion of, you know, what, what attracted you to me or, or you know, because she's a little bit of a fitness person as well. What do you look for, you know, when you see a guy at the distance? And she says the first thing is his calves because if his calves are big, it means he works his legs and he's not just a top, uh, you know, over-the-waist body guy. <laughs> That's weird to me. That's so, weird. But So, John, as things wind down here, I mean, what's, what's next for the company? Uh, anything else you want to share with us while things wind down? Yeah, we've got uh, we've got a bunch of uh, events coming up. So we just finished the Idaho Muscle Classic. We were a sponsor for. We are going to be at the Fit Expo in Anaheim. Uh, so that's going to be a huge event for us. We also have the Idaho Southern Showdown that we're official sponsor of, which is in Twin Falls, Idaho. And then 
coming up in January, we hope to be at the LA Fit Expo to be able to get our products out to the masses there. So I, I'm here on the West Coast. Do you, dis, do you despise the East Coast? What's a, <laughs> no, no, it's uh, easier for me to travel over to the West Coast here. Now, as we grow, I would love to hit up all the Fit Expos, especially like Fort Lauderdale, Chicago, Pennsylvania. I know they have a big one there. So, uh, yeah, that's the goal is to grow large enough to where we can hit up all these big venues. It's, it's quite a chunk of change to, to partake in them. So, uh, yeah, yeah, probably within the next and, few And, John, years. are you guys strictly online? Are you in any brick and mortars that people can be aware of? We are in brick and mortars, most of them out here. We're in several locations in Miami, several in California. Um, here in Idaho, we have very strong footprint, uh, and we continue to grow. So we're going to be traveling uh, as well. Uh, so you probably see us in Salt Lake City. We're going to be traveling down there here within the next month, get our products in three locations, and then we'll be moving to Nevada. Oh, excellent, excellent. And, John, social media, where can people follow you and learn more about the products, the supplements, and, and obviously you guys? Yes, please follow us on Facebook, on Instagram, YouTube, where we just started launching a bunch of content on YouTube. So, But specifically Facebook, Instagram, you follow us on there, you're going to find out about new product releases. We have educational pieces we post. And then that's the first place we always launch our discounts. Like anytime we run a promo, like for example, right now, my weight isolate, for all the listeners out there, it's Forty pound or a forty dollar jug of two pounds of whey isolate. We're selling for twenty bucks right now, nineteen ninety nine. So you find that first on social media. Okay, so please follow us there. See what promos we're running. We're running great deals. John, with that with that isolate, is there a coupon code or is that something that just comes up on the website alone? Nope. Right now, I've got it on the website for nineteen ninety nine. That's a hell right of now. a deal. And how long is that good for? Uh, we're going to be running that here for the next probably month. So and the reason being, I've got a lot of our old labels, and we're just trying to move through them to get our new labels in and uh, fully rebrand the, the whole the whole company. Awesome. Well, John, listen, I, I really do appreciate your time. I know the listeners are going to enjoy this episode. You know, I'll definitely be following you guys and, and appreciate your time, and have a great weekend. Thanks for having us, Sean. We really appreciate it. Definitely. Anytime. Once again, guys, be sure to follow follow our folks at UXO Supplements. It's the letters UXO Supplements dot com. And again, appreciate your time, listeners, and uh, look forward to the next episodes. Take care. Hello, everyone, and again, we are back with Sub Talk Radio after a great conversation with John Klipstein of UXO Supplements. Had to end on a great note. It's been a while, but glad to finally have back Shane Smith of Stack.com. Shane, how are you, buddy? It's good. It's good to be back. I know. I know you've been under the weather, and uh, glad glad to hear your voice, and glad you're doing better. Oh yeah, yeah. It's uh, I'm I'm back to 100 percent now. So so, what's the latest and greatest? We got a, got a lot to catch up on, but maybe we'll just keep it to this week. What's uh, what's new and exciting out there? Yeah, I mean, a lot, a lot's happened in the last uh, two to three weeks, but I would say even more has kind of happened in the last uh, week. Um, probably one of the, uh, these are all pretty big, big stories I've got, and um, the first is actually uh, for Blackstone Labs. Um, now, if you're a, a fan of theirs, you'll know that back in, I'm pretty sure it might have been February, March, earlier this year, there, um, there was that whole drama about uh, Blackstone being raided, and yep. uh, then the Dust Extreme with DMAA got discontinued, and they came out with a new DMHA version that they kind of had in the, in the in the works already, and um, they kind of launched that. And now, uh, a few months later, um, the Blackstone has actually been uh, partnered with uh, High Tech Pharmaceuticals. Hi. And they're a, yes, so they're a they're a manufacturer, and they got their hands in a lot of other brands as well, such as Gaspari, iForce, and um, yeah, so they partnered with Blackstone, and obviously with um, the whole thing that they've got going on, where they can actually have products that have DMAA. Uh, this week just been, or this week now, um, uh, the Dust Extreme with DMAA has returned as well as a new fat burner from Blackstone called King Cobra, which also has uh, DMAA. It'll be interesting to see what happens when this finally settles. I know people are saying it's going to be years 
for the whole high-tech FDA court case is it's going to be interesting to see how this finally plays out in a couple of years, whether it's legal or illegal for DMAA. I think it's, I mean, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a hard one to say, but I think a lot of people are glad that, you know, even whether or not they win or lose the fight at the end of the day, I think people are still glad that they're just high tech fighting and keeping it in. And, you know, they're actually, they've got a lot of products out there with it. And, you know, Blackstone's now one of those, another one of the, uh, the brands using the, the, the stimulant. Sure. You know, and I've been I've been doing this 20 years, Shane, and obviously I learn more about supplements as I get older. But I don't remember anybody ever contesting, you know, uh, a ban on a supplement. I mean, the biggest thing for me years ago was the ephedrine going back 10, 12, 15 years. But when things go off, everyone just says goodbye. But this is this is definitely a first. Yeah, I think they 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 kind of had uh, high tech kind of had ground because of the way it was. I think it's just because they went in and they and they took all of their their stock or something and. They got it back, and then I guess from there it just it just kicked off. But I mean, um, from I guess good news to bad news, um, over in uh, Australia uh, this week, it was announced by the uh, TGA, which is kind of like uh, the US's FDA for Australia. Um, they're putting a ban on DMHA and DMBA, which is also known as amp citrate. Oh, interesting. Okay. So a lot of the big pre-workouts over there are kind of with DMHA and DMBA, um, but the TGA announced uh, this week um, that uh, come October, it's basically not allowed to be sold. And it is worth mentioning that this is just a proposal, so like people can oppose it in the uh, in Australia, but from the people that I know and that I've spoken to, that like that just that just never happens. They don't ever contested less than the u.s just because you know yeah they they can put rules down and and they, no one really wants to oppose them and so i think from what i'm being told uh october 1st or october 17th uh, those are the two dates that i've been told um but either way come october it's gonna those ingredients are going to be uh banned in australia and so yeah people still got plenty of time to stock up um some of the big ones down there in the area, uh, you got um, America Labs, uh, Red, White, and Boom. You've got uh, Kodiak's Attack, Sparta's Kraken. Uh, they got quite a few good pre-workouts down there, and obviously, you know, come October, they're uh, they're going to be gone. <laughs> Shane, who's the now? Obviously, we have the FDA here in the states, but who's the governing body for Australia? Do you know? I mean, who, who puts those? Yeah, it's those... T TGA. Oh, you or, said okay, okay. It's, so that stands for. Uh, Shit. Uh, Therapeutic Goods Administration, if I remember. Oh, okay. Interesting. <clears throat> but usually the thing the thing with this is that I, I, it would be interesting to see what happens from here because usually when one person does it uh, or one country does it, a lot of the others will follow suit. Like um, when uh, DMAA was well, sort of not banned but kind of like frowned upon or told to be removed um australia followed suit the uk followed suit then europe followed suit and like a lot of them sort of followed that and it's kind of the same with um vice versa when people bring in rules other areas countries bring in rules so i wouldn't be surprised if this from coming from australia is going to open the eyes to you know the likes of the uk and the Euro and europe but you know who knows i'm just i'm hoping it doesn't but I wouldn't be surprised if that that does happen. You know, and I've also learned too that, and I forget exactly which countries it is. Maybe it's Brazil or Portugal or one of those type of countries that there's actually a limit on caffeine on on pre workouts. And again, country it was, but there was one that the most you can put in a pre workout is like 75 milligrams. I wouldn't be surprised if that's Brazil. I don't know. I wouldn't know for sure, but I know that uh, if you look at all of their products. Um, they're pretty much, it's just caffeine. Like if you look at Black Skull's line, they have five different fat burners, or like, I think it might be actually three, but they have a lot of different fat burners, and like the majority of them are just caffeine at different doses. That's really all there is to it. They, I, I, I mean, I, I'm not sure if it's just 
Brazil that has that problem, but then I, I don't know, it's just, then, then they bring, that's the only reason I picked up on them was because they came to the US, tried to sell the same kind of shit, and it just, I was, I was surprised, I'm like, did they do research, did they know, you know, that you can use more than caffeine, and, um, but, or yeah. just just as Americans that we take it as we just take it to the to the fullest or to the furthest degree that we're screwed up or maybe they're screwed up or maybe it's a combination of both. No, I think I think it's um a lot of people look to the US market uh as I I wouldn't say the biggest, but I would definitely probably say the, the most developed in terms of supplements just because the rules and what you can use new ingredients, um and you know, when one when ingredient goes become successful there's tons of brands that can use it and spread it out wide and i mean a lot of the time ingredients that trend in the u.s will eventually trend yep. elsewhere um and then they'll get banned but i mean it's like your himbi that's a that's legal in the u.s but uh from my understanding it's you know it's, all, it's illegal everywhere yeah. else <laughs> um <clears throat> next one i actually have is uh the, the pretty much um the pre-workout game is probably one of the strongest right now. And uh, this, in the past three weeks, or uh, since we last spoke, um, the uh, the new pre-workout from Olympus Labs kind of uh, it's been unveiled. It's been talked about, and there's a lot of hype behind it. Um, I'm not sure if I'm causing a lot of hype, but you know, we 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 post about it regularly because um, my first line when we talked about Olympus Labs bringing a new pre-workout was that. They have yet to do one that hasn't landed in my top mm -hmm. top ten. They have yet to do one that I guess wasn't that was bad that hasn't worked. And so, with that in mind, you can assume that this one is going to be another hit. And they haven't really released everything yet, but they've confirmed a um, handful of ingredients, including citrulline, uh, agmatine, um, caffeine, and they have a stimulant in there. That they say uh, they've trademarked. It's called Stim X, and um, apparently it enhances the uh, energy and uh, focus uh, from all the other ingredients in there. And they haven't said kind of what actually is in that trademarked uh, Stim X, but they have just said what it does. Um, and the latest uh, on the pre-workout is its flavors. Uh, the brand confirmed that it's coming in uh, five flavors, all extremely uh, unique and. Uh, mysteriously named uh, you have lion's blood dragon's mist icy fury crushes and area 51 i think some of those line up with flavors uh, i'm familiar with like um dragon's mist i wouldn't be surprised if it's kind of like, uh, like a blueberry raz or something dragon fruit yeah well i think dragon's mist might be dragon fruit crushes i wouldn't be surprised if that's like a blue raspberry lion's blood i think might be tiger's tiger's blood but I have no clue as to uh, Area 51. That one, that one has me at a loss. I don't know if that's smart or not, though, because I don't know if people are gonna. I mean, Olympus Lab <coughs> is a good brand behind them, but I don't know if people want to take take a game pro, uh, trying a, a flavor that they really don't know what it is and dropping thirty, forty dollars on it. It'll be interesting to see how that pays out. I think that if you're a brand like uh, Cellucor or BSN, I think that sticking to blue raspberry fruit punch. That's ideal. That's smart because you're going out to mass market. But I think when it comes to brands like Olympus Labs that are like Hardcore. mostly popular, yeah, they're they're known to the advanced and the experienced market. And so I don't think it's kind of like you don't need they don't need to introduce themselves. Like they don't really need to say what the flavor is because the majority of them might be just taking it because it's going to be a badass yeah. pre-workout and it's a little fun to have the the weird names. Of in there. Yeah, I guess yeah. But um, yeah. I mean, another one, another pre-workout uh, that's kind of just been completely unveiled today and is going to be out. Um, I think sometime this month. I don't know for sure, but it's uh, from Dimatize, who's, uh, who's who's been in the game for a very long time. They've been in and out of the <clears throat> pre-workout market, and they have a a new pre-workout called. Um, P R uh, sorry pre W O which basically just stands for pre workout and um, it's it's really a formula for uh, anyone who's a fan I guess of pre gym um, kind of pre cre uh, Nutrix's yeah. outlift it's just a full on fully dosed 
uh, pre-workout. I mean, it has it only has 20 servings, but every ingredient in it is as heavy or as big as you've probably seen in any other pre-workout. Uh, the citrulline malate's at 8 grams, um, taurine's 2 grams, uh, butane's 1.5, um, tor- uh, yeah, I mean, the, the beta alanine's at the, the typical 3.2 grams, um, and they have t at like the maximum you'll see at 125. Uh, so it's a, it's, it's a really fully loaded product. I think some people, uh, who probably stim addicts, like, who are fans of DMHA and stuff, and high caffeine may want to, you know, find something else. It's only 300. Mil- it only has 300 milligrams of caffeine. But if you're a fan of like like Outlift pre gym kind of low stim, well not low stim, just mild energy, but kick ass like performance, endurance, and like you know refueling ability during your workout, then yeah, it's 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 if it if it performs as good as it looks on paper, then yeah, it's it's gonna be just as good as. Uh, all of the, the well-established ones, like it's, I it's mentioned. It's not a bad-looking profile. As, as we're talking here, I'm looking at it on the site. It's not a bad-looking profile. It's full disclosure, which is nice. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, they, they didn't have the citrulline uh, malate ratio, but I did ask them, and they were more than happy to give it to me. And we mentioned the how much pure citrulline you get um, from the citrulline malate anyway. And so, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, it's full, full dosed. And even if you tried, you could probably heap scoop the thing and get yeah, you know, knock everything up a little bit more, but it's yeah, I think it's it's a pretty complete in terms of doses. And the other thing is, is um, with the likes of uh, pre gym and Outlift, is that you know this doesn't really this didn't really use like leucine and BCAAs, which is something you'll find in those other ones. They've really just stuck to you know pre workout ingredients. Yep. But uh, next up. Um, I actually have uh, another product that's coming soon from America Labs, and I mean they kicked off like early this year. Like, no, last year it was a very new brand. They launched with two pre-workouts, which still to this day we call the best pre-workout stack on the market. And then um, they uh, launched a testosterone booster called uh, Liberty Balls a few months ago, weeks ago, and now they have a uh, protein powder which is called Patriot's Way, although they're referring to it as the uh, revolutionary's protein. Now, on, on paper, it, it looks pretty typical. It's got – it's a whey concentrate formula. Um, macros are, are on par with what you'd expect. The only difference is that you get um, a little bit of extra calories, and that's because of the, uh, the, the typical Miracle Labs twist that they added. So uh, each flavor kind of has a um, a, uh, a little little additive in there, and so they have uh, one with Oreo pieces, real Oreo pieces. They got one with uh, real Lucky Charms marshmallows, uh, and then they got one with chocolate chips and marshmallows. And so you kind of they're really you know shooting for great flavor on this one, and it, it is reflected in the in the calories, but to be honest, it looks like you're only getting a little like 10 to 20 extra calories for what sounds like it's going to be an insane flavor, or at least that's what it's, you know, they're, they're, they're promoting that's it. That's what I was thinking though, with the extra cook, with the extra goodies, I guess we'll call them that the, that the carbohydrates and sugars would go up, but looking, you're looking at between two and a half and five grams of sugar, which isn't too bad, I guess. No, I mean, it's, as I actually said this to a brand, a couple of brands, uh, Earlier this year and last year, I said, you know, people, instead of coming up with these creative flavors, you know, add a bit of extra sugar, add some 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 junk food or something in there, because people won't mind like, 10 calories. Like there are proteins out there that don't have that little extra Oreos or anything like that to them, and they're bigger than 142 calories. Like Synthesis Six is, that's one of the like most known ones for having a bit of extra carbs, but you know. It's, they don't really have anything like uh, real marshmallows or chocolate chips in them. And so, I mean, and it, again, it's only 10 to 20 calories. And if you throw in that post-workout, it's people aren't probably going to – I certainly wouldn't mind. And, and the taste is probably going to be more than worth it. Yep. Interesting, because that, that's a company I've been keeping my eyes on. Well, I, I, I just I guess they got, they got a cool uh, label, and they seem to have some decent decent products. 
yeah, they 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 definitely go for the shoot for the stars with all their products. Um, and uh, that one's launching uh, actually on the fourth of July. They're gonna they plan on not doing it on that day. And I didn't write this on the site or anything, but uh, following um, uh, Patriots Way, uh, sometime between then and the end of July, they're also gonna launch their uh, amino formula, and that's called uh, America Aminos and Nothing, nothing's kind of been said about that one in terms of formula, but knowing them, it's, I mean, at a guess, it's probably going to be like 10 grams of BCAAs and just fat doses of everything. And um, once again, probably some, some killer flavors. Now, Shane, I don't know if you're going to bring it up or not, but I'm going I'm to jump in. Now, I know you had an article about Prime Nutrition, um, but who's, who's running them nowadays? Is PJ still running them, or who's in charge of Prime Nutrition? So from... From what, I mean, I don't know too much about who runs that thing anymore, but that kind of – that one took the same route as uh, so Blackstone. So pri- so high-tech um, bought in, I think it was late last year, pretty much around when that whole thing happened where John Meadows tested his product. turned out it didn't have what he was saying it had, and you know, then he shot off and did his own thing. And that was when high tech, I think, came in and grabbed uh, okay. a good chunk. From what I from what I understand, it is mostly Aaron Singerman and Jared Wheat. I don't. Whenever I talk to them, I haven't heard much from from about PJ being involved, or even if he's involved at all anymore. But um, it's basically Aaron and uh, Jared, and that's launching. I believe next Monday they they they've been hyping up their big launch. They've been hyping up like one or two launches, but uh, it looks like they're they're pretty serious and they're fully ready to go this time. Interesting, because because I remember PJ back in the day following him, where he used to be just a writer on RX Muscle, and obviously he's kind of really become something big. And you know, following him on all, he's got his hands on a lot of things nowadays. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so I mean, uh, the one last uh, story I have, and this is. This is strangely probably one of well, strange. This is the most popular story on the site right now. So last week, um, well, late last week, Christian Guzman, who is uh, an athlete of Go Supplements, he announced on his uh, YouTube channel that he's got a, a new venture. And uh, what it is is um, he he's, he's he's been drinking Monster Energy drinks for as long as he can remember. He says, and you know, he wanted. He so thought, why did he do it his own? And so for the past few months, he's been working on uh, a product called Up Energy. And um, it's uh, kind of a very stylish or one of typically stylish uh, energy drinks. And um, while it was unveiled uh, last week, it, it was launched uh, this past Monday. Um, and you can find it at, I think it's a shopupenergy.com. And basically, it's it's just like an energy drink. It's... Uh, when we looked at, when you look at the formula, if you're a fan of Monster, you'll know right away that it's pretty much the same formula, if not like identical. He's used the same, you know, blend of ingredients in the same order that you'll find in Monster yep. Ultra. Um, you got taurine, carnitine, guarana. Um, the only kind of difference is that he's got a little bit more caffeine. He's got 200 uh, milligrams per um, bottle. But the uh, the other thing is he's kind of he's he's really gone for I guess quality and the look and everything in between because the bottle is it says it's one of the thickest bottles in the energy wow. drink market and the other the other benefit is that it's got a screw on top so it's kind of resealable um, the thickness allows it to be kept colder for longer and um, yeah it it is a little bit more pricey than a monster that's i guess one of the things i've seen a lot of people bring up it's uh I guess 30 bucks for 12 can 12 bottles whereas you know a monster's around that price for like 24 bottles yep. almost i guess but um yeah it's it, it's just been it's got a crazy following i think because you know he's kind of in the fitness supplement industry and no, no one really no one really kind of markets towards that industry in the energy drink market you've kind of got them all aiming for the uh i guess the extreme sports like skating and bmx and like i mean at the arnold they had monster was there but they bought their monster protein Uh, and i was i was just 
that was surprised because I mean I know that while the monster protein is good, there are thousands, probably tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of like people who take protein and supplements that just religiously live off that 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 ultra monster. Yep. And and to piggyback off of that, Shane, I don't know if you've been following the Muscle Elements uh, news because we just actually signed a, a professional football player, Brian Cushing, who, who's an inside linebacker for the Houston Texans. So uh, you know, as, as Muscle Elements, we're definitely excited. And, you know, we're, we're trying to, I guess, Eric and the team are trying to expand the brand a little bit more. You know, sometimes we're under the the moniker of you know for the fitness athlete, for the weekend warrior, more for the the bodybuilder, the fitness person, but. Now with this, what we're really starting to cross it, I guess, penetrate different sports. Again, with with this person, we have a female golfer part of the team. So you know, we're growing as well. We're happy, to, excited to announce that. You know, just this week for us. That's the uh, well, that probably would be the very first uh, muscle elements like major athlete. Is Correct. It, is it not? Correct. Because I see, I know you guys have had or have ambassadors, but I don't think I've ever seen a, a, a major. A major signing uh, since 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 Muscle Elements yes. has been around. So you know, again, they're they're growing. I'm glad to be part of them. And again, Brian Cushion, he's he's been around for the Houston Texans for a few years now. Um, but we're excited. You know, I just wanted to share that news as well. Yeah, that's definitely good. Yeah, I'm, I, I I must have must have missed that one. Yeah. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's good. That's definitely yeah, a lot, awesome. lot of good things. And you know, you're always the, one of the first people to know what's coming out with Muscle Elements, beside myself. But you know, we're excited. But, but Shane, I will let you get back to your day. As always, you know, I appreciate the time. Glad we're able to connect. And, you know, as always, onward and upward. Yeah, it's great. It's great to be back. Stay, stay healthy, my friend. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.